Hi, this is my uh, latest custom uh, setup for FreeCAD and uh, as you might notice uh, I've uh, unchecked all icons and uh, I believe that uh, this is another step in order to get more uh, focus on your design. Um, everything you need you could have in the shortcut that uh, we have created and explained in my previous video and uh, in this video I'm gonna show uh, to everyone how you could customize uh, by yourself and uh, if uh, you have some an different approach you could actually create it by creating uh, your own custom toolbars. I strongly suggest before doing anything to your settings to make a backup and uh, this is really easy to do. You just need to go to tools and click edit parameters. Leave everything as it is and just hit the export button. That will prompt you uh, in uh, where you need to save your settings. Give them a name, something to remember like my backup settings and uh, just press save after this. So in order to import uh, some new settings uh, you should go to tools, edit parameters and uh, import. Uh, be careful here because this is the last warning you will get for overwriting your current settings. If you haven't made any backup, please press no and go to export in order to create your backup. If you are okay with that, then you could press yes and open the file with your new settings. In case you face any strange issue uh, after importing new settings uh, I would uh, go to tools and edit parameters and uh, I would press reset button. Uh, this will clear all current configuration and uh, if you have messed around with something and uh, you end up uh, having uh, strange issues that would all also be solved by pressing reset. Of course, after resetting, the software will return to the initial state. It's like you have uh, just installed the software and uh, by that you need to import your backup. Uh, of course, you need to have one, so I strongly suggest you take a backup before changing anything to the software. And uh, this will solve your issues. So in order to change uh, our settings inside FreeCAD, we need to access tools and customize command. And we should get a pop-up window like that uh, with a lot of choices uh, and uh, options to change things inside. In order to create any keyboard shortcut key for any commands that we choose, we should be at this tab. So uh, we need to choose uh, all in category. So while you're typing here, the searching box will have uh, access to all commands inside FreeCAD. So let's say, for example, I need to change my customize access to the customize menu. By typing customize here, I can choose the command and uh, I can see that this command is in category tools. And I actually see that I have available this key, uh, closing bracket, as my shortcut and uh, FreeCAD has no default shortcut key for customize command. Uh, the default value 
it's uh, really useful when you need to revert only a few shortcuts to the default values. So uh, let's say I need a new shortcut key. What I could do is clear my current one and press my new shortcut key here and also assign to the command. Last thing I need to notice would be the populated shortcut priority list and uh, if it's only my command that's just fine but if you see more commands in here that would mean that uh, your chosen shortcut is uh, also as a shortcut to all these commands. Uh, that would not be any problem if these commands are not in the same workbench. If these commands are uh, populated inside the same workbench, then uh, that would give uh, an issue to the access for these commands because only the top level will be executed. Uh, in order to solve this situation, you need to create new shortcuts for all the commands inside here. So let's try to see if uh, our shortcut really works. Uh, the assign button is grayed out, so that means this is already been assigned. So I can cl close. And if I'm pressing the closing bracket in my keyboard, it should pop up the same window of customize. And it works. To create a new custom toolbar inside FreeCAD, I need to access Customize menu and after that I need to choose Toolbars tab. Now I have to choose my workbench if I need my toolbar to be created inside a specific workbench or from this list I could choose my toolbar to be available in all workbenches and this can be done by choosing global. This is very important because uh, here you can actually create a lot of commands that you need to have available in all workbenches. So for demonstration let's go to start workbench and let's first delete this toolbar. I just press and I have option to delete here. To create a new toolbar is very easy. I just press new, type a name and press OK. This is actually have create a space for my toolbar. Nothing has been populated on top and that's because there is nothing inside the toolbar. In order to import something, let's choose a command from here and press right click, sorry, left click to this arrow and import these commands inside our new toolbar. As you can see, all these are presented in the space of the toolbar here. If I need to import more commands from a different category, I can press my command here, then choose the command, and after that I can easily import the command inside my toolbar. Again, let's import another command that actually is on a different category. So this is our four, five commands that actually have also been presented on top and uh, Let's conclude our creation of our new custom toolbar. Right now, 
the only option we have if we go back and close this customize menu is to click these commands where we are on the start workbench. So if I go to another workbench like part, these commands are not available to me. Let's go again to start. And these commands are available now. Entering customize again and choosing toolbars, I have the option to disappear my toolbar from top. And this will be my option personally. I need to create my shortcut pie menu. So that will be possible if I press on this area here. By pressing here, I got this space to enter my shortcut. So let's say that I need to press double times B in order to have my Pi menu with these available options. I should press assign and as you can see now my shortcut is available for this new toolbar. If I click on the empty space inside FreeCAD and while having open my customized menu, I can actually test my new Pi menu. So double pressing B will present me with all options that I have choose to have available inside FreeCAD. So I can actually create these commands. And this is a new created document here. Something to have in mind is that uh, if you need to create a new shortcut or change your new shortcut, you can actually delete it from here. If by any case you create a shortcut that actually is a shortcut to another command, you will have also the priority list here. And uh, if you actually create a double command key, you can actually bypass the conflict. Let's test this one. So by double pressing V, my command is executed. And also something else. Let's delete this one also. I can have four keys maximum pressed in order to access my Pi menu. So this will give you plenty of combination in order to create your own custom keys. So in order to access this toolbar, I have to press four times B. So, testing the global, I will test a custom toolbar I have created while I am on start menu. So, shift and Z will give us the custom circuit in all workbenches. So let's choose another one and test again Shift Z. As you can see, this is globally assigned to this custom toolbar. So for some navigational tips inside those shortcuts and those Pi menu, uh, 
let's enter our workbenches by menu. You can drag your mouse on top of your option and left click. You can choose from 1 through 8, starting with 1 in uh, the top position for start, 2 will be this position and 8 will be that position. Then uh, you could uh, notice the blue arrow by just uh, rotating your mouse and you could choose from this position by left clicking. You could uh, also use tab and then space in order to choose your wallbands. And finally, you could choose to navigate through your option from outside of the circle or from inside of the circle. And my favorite would be uh, to use uh, Q in order to access your next level of Pi menu until you reach your desired level and then choose with a number or W to go back. Of course, you could use your scroll wheel to change the level. So these are a lot of options available for everyone. And uh, you could easily choose your favorite one to learn and navigate through all those Pi menus. Please check my previous video if you haven't already in order to see the workflow and the way of thinking to create all these. Uh, I truly believe that uh, those Pi menus can really be useful to a beginner or to an expert and really reduce your time to manage your workflow. And uh, of course I will put a link in description with my current settings and uh, it will be available to everyone. Of course, please share if you like. And uh, thanks a lot for your time. And take care.